Hello everyone, my name is KD Kwan from TasteAsianFood.com. Today I'm going to show you how to prepare the Thai green curry chicken. It's easy to prepare, but if you want to prepare from scratch by making the curry paste, it is going to be very time consuming. So today I'm going to show you the shortcut that is to prepare by using the store bought curry paste. It will reduce the preparation time by half. And along the way, I'll show you some tips how to prepare the perfect Thai curry chicken. Let's take a look. If you want to get the recipe and the quantity of each ingredient, please refer to the description right below the video. Today, I'm going to use the ready-made store-bought green curry paste to make the green curry chicken. Now, this green curry paste consists of more than 10 different ingredients inside. Now definitely you can make your own green curry paste. You can control the quantity of each ingredient inside. But by using a store-bought good quality green curry paste, it saves half of your time. And naturally, we are making green curry chicken. So you need chicken. Cut it into small cubes like this. You can either use chicken breast like what I'm doing or you can use chicken breast meat. It's entirely up to you. The next important item for this curry is the coconut milk. Now I managed to get the fresh coconut milk from the local wet market. But if you don't, no problem, you can always substitute it with those coconut milk that you get it from the supermarket or grocery shop in a paper box, paper carton. Well, I need some vegetable to balance the, the flavor of the chicken, right? So it's more balanced. So, this is eggplant. I've already cut before that it looks like this. Well, definitely this is not the one that you may able to get it from Thailand. But after it cooks, it tastes the same. And you can also add some mushroom. This is king oyster mushroom. You can substitute it with other mushroom, for example, button mushrooms. And some people also add other vegetables such as bamboo shoots, which is very popular. And in order to boost the flavor, add a few pieces of cafe lime leaves. And lastly, we have palm sugar. Palm sugar has its unique flavor. Now this is being shredded from the block. The block looks like this. Again, if you don't, you can substitute it with brown sugar. And for the flavor and saltiness, I will not use salt, but I use fish sauce, which is quite salty, to flavor the green curry. And lastly, when I cook the green curry, I would like to add a little bit of chicken stock instead of water to enhance the flavor. Get ready some basil leaves. Let's blend the basil leaves with the coconut milk first. Add a quarter of this into the blender and pour about, about half of it into the blender and blend it. Okay, haha, you see, now the coconut milk has turned to green. Pour the remaining coconut milk into a pan or a pot and simmer over low heat to reduce it to about half of its quantity. Now the coconut milk has reduced so much and you can see that there is a layer of coconut oil uh, floating on top and it's time to add the green curry paste. You notice that I actually put the green curry paste on top of a weighing machine. But if you don't, I'm putting 70 grams of paste in it. Yes. If you don't have a weighing machine, you can put four tablespoons. That will be just nice. Okay, now it's exactly 70 grams. So now we stir and saute the green curry paste until it turns fragrant. You may wonder why I want to reduce the coconut milk. Because I want to saute the spices in the curry paste by using the coconut oil inside the coconut milk. So I cook it down 
and uh, remove the water. Otherwise, uh, you know, if you saute with so much water inside, the curry paste will never become aromatic. Mm, now you can really smell the aroma from the spices. Now we move on to the next phase. That is to add the chicken. I would like to show you a close shot and you can see the coconut oil is actually bubbling. That, that's the coconut oil. Now we add the chicken. Combine with the spices. Add the coconut milk. Has been blended together with some basil leaves. And the chicken stock. The chicken stock will help to enhance the flavor. If you don't, just use water. Add the coffee lime leaves. You can shred it into half, tear it to half. And the palm sugar. Then add a tablespoon of fish sauce. I normally put two tablespoons and just in case it's too much. I'll then add another tablespoon later. So now let it simmer over low heat for about 10 minutes until the chicken is cooked and let the chicken to have some time to absorb all the flavors of the herbs and spices. I'll come back shortly. Alright, the chicken is now cooked. Then it's time to add the eggplant. As well as the mushroom. The mushroom is quite big so I shred into a smaller pieces. Then let it cook for another 2 to 3 minutes or until the eggplant turns soft. Before we add the basil leaves and the red chili, do a taste test. Mm, it's just nice, but I would like to just add a little bit more of fish sauce. Okay. The reason I do not put all the fish sauce at the beginning is because I am using the store bought curry paste and it contains some salt inside. So I just want to make sure that it is not going to turn out too salty. And lastly, add the remaining basil leaves. Just mix and until the basil leaves start to wilt and the red chili turn off the heat and you are ready to enjoy your very appetizing green curry chicken ladle the curry into a bowl garnish with a little bit more of the chili red chili and a few pieces of basil leaf and here it goes this is how I prepare the Thai style green curry chicken. I hope you enjoy watching and don't forget to follow the channel by clicking the subscription button. Until then, I'm KB Kwan from tasteasianfood.com. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.